Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we are going to be talking about exactly what Xavi Hernandez had to say during the press conference for the match against Getafe. There are going to be some things that I do want to expand on and so it is going to be regarding our potential new signings, Ansu Fati's future, what happened with Dembele. We're also going to be talking about how we're going to be facing Getafe and what our game plan is going to be. It's going to be some very exciting stuff. I'm, I'm also very excited because we're less than under 24 hours away for Barcelona to make their debut in La Liga. And looking at how this transfer window has been going, I felt like this summer was going by so slow. And we have been out of club football for the past five to six months. But it's only been about two and a half months since the last time Barcelona played their last game from the previous season. So I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see what Barcelona have in their plans against Getafe. And so what we are going to be starting with is our plan against Getafe. And this is what Xavi had to say. We have strengthened ourselves well. The team has played well. We expect a line of five against a very difficult opponent. We will have a very difficult visit and we will have to give our very best version and so yes it's true that Barcelona they're gonna have to play away and we're gonna be going against a deep block that is how Hitafe likes to play they showed that during the preseason and you know what comes with a five-man defensive line and implementing a low block it is fast counter-attacks Hitafe love to do this every time the opposition do lose the ball and Hitafe have possession they immediately go on the counter and Hitafe has played six friendlies so far so they're very well conditioned they know exactly what they need to do and they can implement that strategy because they are all very fit. So Barcelona should be expecting counters going against them when they do lose the ball against Getafe. They will try us. And so because of this, I do believe that Oriol Romeo will be starting against Getafe. Oriol Romeo is a monster when it comes to stopping the transitions to the attack. Oriol loves to tackle or intercept the ball from one of the midfielders of the opposition. We saw him do that against Real Madrid, against AC Milan, against Tottenham. He's a monster at that. So he is going to have to start against Getafe. And I do expect him to. So most likely, my bet is going to be this. Our midfield will be Pedri, Frankie, and Oriol Romeo. There is no way we will see a starting 11 that does include Gundogan, Frankie, and Pedri, and with Gavi as the false left winger. I just don't see that. We need more defensive reinforcements in case Hetafe do go on the counter. So now let's move on towards the potential new signings, because Xavi wanted to speak about what Barcelona is missing, and this is what Xavi had to say. When it comes to signing a winger and a fullback, we need both. We have strengthened well with Gundogan. We have recovered Abde. We have players who can play in the attack, but we need both players who can overlap on the wing, which is Cancelo, and inside players, meaning that he wants wingers that know how to create when they go central. And in other words, Neymar Jr. Those are the only two players that I am thinking about right now because we are very close to signing Cancelo and we're also in talks on signing Neymar Jr. And yes, there is other options when it comes to wingers playing inside like Bernardo Silva and also Lo Celso, but I have a lot of doubts when it comes to Bernardo Silva now because now knowing that Man City are going to be letting go of their second player who is going to Barcelona, they're not going to want to send us another player, a third player. That You really think that Man City are going to be like, yeah, take Gundogan, take Cancelo, take Bernardo Silva, maybe you can take Rodri in about two years, maybe you can take Haaland in about three years, maybe take Julian Alvarez next year in the summer. There's just no way I think that Man City will cap it there just for now in this summer. They will give us Cancelo and, they'll, and they have already given us Gundogan, meaning that everything is pointing towards Barcelona going for the signing of Neymar. I do think that we will sign Cancelo first and then we will go and try for Neymar. And if that does not work out, there is a possibility that we could go for Lo Celso. But as for Joao Cancelo, because things are so close, it says here, according to Mateo Moreto, that Joao Cancelo is set to join Barcelona. Bearing any last minute surprises, the clubs are very close to reaching a full agreement for a loan with a purchase option later down the road. And I do assume that that purchase option is going to be around 45 to 50 million euros. And if Joao Cancelo can give us what we need in this upcoming season and he outperforms and he meets the ex expectations, I, I can see Barcelona Barcelona saying yes we'll pay the 45 to 50 million euros because he was worth it as long as Joao Cancelo can finish this season that we are currently in with a total of 8 to 10 assists and 2 or 3 goals I would be very very fine with that so now let's move on towards the case of Ansu Fati and Xavi has yet again wanted to clarify what he thinks about Ansu and this is what he said there is a market until August 31st I'm happy with Ansu I don't know why you say that I'm not dependent on him we'll see if he can stay anything can happen so I believe that what Xavi's trying to do here is not give us false promises I don't think Xavi wants to say, yes, Ansu Fati is going to stay here for sure. He also does want to stay here. He's not moving anywhere. And then in about six to seven days later, we see Ansu Fati leave because then there's going to be a lot of hate going towards Xavi Hernandez. But I, I don't even think Xavi Hernandez can win in this situation because whatever he does say, whether it's not backing him or backing him fully, he might end up losing because if he backs Ansu Fati and he says that, yeah, he'll for sure stay, there's no way he's going to go anywhere and he ends up leaving, people will hate him. If Xavi says there is a market until August 31st, so we never know what could happen, people will still hate him.
hate him. So he can now win in this situation. And I think that this is the best possible outcome that Xavi can do as of now. And bro, trust me, like I know that Ansu Fati is being negotiated with another club. Like I know that Barcelona are hearing other offers that we probably don't even know about. And Xavi also knows this, which is why he's saying there is a market until August 31st. Because if Xavi truly knew that a player was immovable and he could not go nowhere, he would say it. Like I don't see Xavi Hernandez saying, yeah, for Araujo, the market is always going to be open until August 31st. We never know. I don't see Xavi Hernandez saying that for Araujo. I, I do think that he will be saying he's not moving nowhere. He is a pillar to our project. And he will say the same thing with Pedri and Alejandro Balde and with Gavi. There is no way he would say the market is open until August 31st. But with Ansu, he probably knows something that we just don't know. So now let's move on towards the case of Dembele. And so if you guys did not know, Dembele has already signed with PSG. He is considered as a PSG player. Dembele is not even in the registrations for La Liga on the website. Like his picture is not there. It's all gone. He signed all the papers that he needed to do with PSG and he passed his medicals, surprisingly. And this is what Xavi had to say about Dembele's situation. I can give you an assessment since I've been here. We betted on him and the fact that he left is a big disappointment. We wanted him here a lot and we have a great project. So you can see that Xavi Hernandez was disappointed. He thought that Dembele was going to stay there just like what Dembele did say. He trusted Xavi. He wanted to continue at Barcelona. He was very close on the renewal. But in the end, the agent wanted to convince him that PSG was the better club. And unfortunately for Dembele, he trusted the agent. It's amazing how much influence an agent has on a player's future in today's times in football. So Dembele has left right, but there has been tensions. Like Barcelona did not want to just let Dembele go. They also wanted to create tensions. Like if the agent is going to give some form of disrespect, Barcelona low-key wanted to do that back, which is crazy because Barcelona were trying to say that they were going to keep the majority of the transfer fee and the rest is going to go to Dembele. None of the commissions will be going to the agent. Barcelona were fighting for a case like that. It says here, according to Mundo Deportivo, that Barcelona interpret that according to the private clause, the club only has to pay a part of the total fee for Dembele, who worked for the club and nothing for his agent. And he is not a Barcelona worker. Barcelona thus agreed on keeping the 35.4 million euros in total because originally they were only supposed to keep 25, which is half of the total transfer fee and give the other 15 million euros to Dembele. And again, nothing to the agent. This interpretation of the contract by Barcelona has not pleased Dembele's agents. As a matter of fact, they are so frustrated that they are considering on taking Barcelona to court. And so you can see that Barcelona were, were in a way trying to be petty with this whole negotiation. They're like, okay, fine. If Dembele is going to be leaving, we're going to leave our mark here. And you agent, right? You, Sissoko, you're going to feel this departure. You're going to see the effects of trying to take away one of our key players and moving him to a different club only because you were looking for the bigger bag. And so now lastly, I do want to end it with this. They have also asked Xavi, what is going on with the registration of players? And this is what Xavi had to say. I am 90% convinced that everyone will be registered for tomorrow. I already know more or less the team that will start tomorrow. And so if you guys do not know, Gundogan has been registered, just like what Barcelona promised. They prioritized registering Gundogan and Araujo because those are two players that are very important to Xavi and his starting 11. And Barcelona have achieved exactly that. Araujo and Gundogan will be there on the roster. And Barcelona can work on this until the very last minute until kickoff. It says here that Barcelona can register players until five minutes before kickoff of tomorrow's match against Hitafe. They will still be eligible to play. And so the players that are still non-eligible to play, it is Alejandro Balde, Abde, Oriol Romeo, Sergi Roberto, Marcos Alonso, Inaki Peña, and Inigo Martinez. Now, side note, for Alejandro Balde, even though we cannot register his new contract, he can actually still be registered and be eligible to play in La Liga tomorrow against Hitafe because Barcelona can use his Barcelona B contract. And so if they insert that file into La Liga, Balde can play. And he will also be eligible to play in the Barcelona B team. And I don't even think that that's going to happen, but they can do that. It's like a cheat code. But as for the other players, they don't have that type of access and they're going to have to continue to work on registering Abde, Oriol Romeo, Sergio Roberto, etc. Now, you may also be asking, then what was the whole point of Barcelona selling Barca Studios for 120 million euros? I thought those funds were going to make us register all of our players. Well, La Liga is still checking it. They want to give a final okay, which is why it's taking so long. And it says here, according to COPE, that currently La Liga are reviewing the income announced yesterday and if they give the approval there there will be more registrations in the next few hours but everyone will be registered sooner rather than later of the 120 million euros 60 million euros is being received this summer but the entire fee won't be received this weekend so don't worry guys Barcelona is working on it we just have to have patience maybe by the time I do upload this video everybody will be registered except for maybe one player worst case scenario but we'll see things are moving very fast updates are happening by the hour but in the end everything will be okay that is going to be wrapping up today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one